<laughs> oh, come on. Good morning, guys. Sorry my voice sounds deep. I just woke up not too long ago. I'm just enjoying this fresh coffee and uh, just looking at the waters. The sun hasn't even come up, and today feels amazing right now. Temperature is not too, not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. 70 degrees. Today's looking promising. Um, so today I'm going to probably do another bass challenge. See if I can catch a bass for you guys. And towards the end... I got a little surprise for you guys. I'm about to put the drone up. Sunrise will be right over there. I want you guys to enjoy it with me. I finally got up early enough to see it. I usually do see it when I go to work, but uh, on the weekends, it's good to be up this early. She is up. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and use just a simple old uh, Texas rig. Um, let's see what I got here. What soft plastic to go with. I mean, it's still warm and stuff, and I think the water is pretty clear. So I might go with. I'm gonna go with this guy. Well, depending on what hook I have on. No, let's go with the worm then. I'm gonna go with. You already got some people fishing out there on the boat? Yeah, so the other day I found this. It looks like a lizard, but it's all chewed up and stuff. And I have a story and I have some videos to show you about this thing. It's pretty cool. Then. I found this thing. Is this is a fly, so what they call a fly. And can you hook one of these up to a spinning reel? So I want to hang on to that and try this later. But right now I'm gonna go with the Texas rig and let me rig it up and see you in a minute. So I already threw my my rig in. Just trying to let it sit uh, sink. So I want to apologize for my last two videos. The audio hasn't been so great, but uh, I am working on getting better equipment. Um, you know, better tripod, uh, a tripod. I just saw a fish pop up. But yeah, I'm trying to get a, a mic for this GoPro. Let's try to make the, little, the audio a little better. So I see two fishermen that are on boats right now and they're using uh, either um, crankbait or jerkbait. And I do have a jerkbait I stole from my daughter this morning. <laughs> she has this little kit that came with her fishing pole and it had a uh, jerkbait in it. So I may um, switch to that since they just caught two catfish, or not catfish, uh, bass. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to that. All right, I'm gonna switch locations. Uh, before I go ahead and switch out my my rig, uh, I'm going from Texas rig to a jerk bait. Um, it has a small bill in it, so it probably won't dive as deep. So I'll keep it up. It's going to stay up top water, and uh, 
hopefully that's what those fishermen were fishing with and uh, i'm planning to go closer to the water uh, um, off the bank instead of the dock all right i'm going to change my rig right here i don't know if you can see me well um it's just easier since i got this big old rock to do so you know i know it's always good to have bring multiple poles out here for different setups but I broke my last pole and this stuff costs a lot so yeah I'm still waiting for some funds to come through work to save up and I'll get another pole again um, but in the meantime I gotta keep switching it takes time and you know when I come out here to fish I fish on the weekends and I very have limited time to fish so I gotta do what I have to do All right, guys, I'm all ready. This is what I put on. This is what I'm going to be fishing. This is my first time that I'm going to fish with a jerk bait. So we'll see. I, I have watched videos prior to coming out today on how to fish one of these. And uh, a lot of anglers said that, you know, jerk baits are good all, all year round. So we'll try it. All right, you know, I'm fishing off this boat ramp. I'm starting to really like this area. Usually I fish off the rocks right here. Oh, look at that Instead of doing the challenge based on time, like I had two hours, the, the other video had like two, two and a half hours to catch a bass. But since I only have one battery for my GoPro and it dies pretty quickly, um, I'll stop when the battery reaches around 30% so I can go ahead and, you know, do an outro and all that cool stuff. But right now I have about 70% left, so I still got a little bit of time to fish. And uh, I had one bite on this jerk bite. A jerk bite. I had one bite on this jerk bait. Jeez. Um, I'm thinking about either switching it up to another Texas rig or just keep it as is. Or maybe you put a weight on it. I'm not sure. sitting down I want to change my my setup one last time uh, my battery is dying and uh, the jerk bait got one hit but I think it was from a sunfish instead of a, a bass but uh, being all trial and error and I'm getting used to these different types of lures and baits and so I want to change it out and I think I'm just gonna have to stick to the old uh, Texas rig and put that little pink lizard thing I found the other day on it and see what I can do with that. Oh, 
all set. So I snagged a row, or not a row, a, a bait with some line on it. <laughs> Might keep that. I don't know if that's worth saving. This thing? Yeah, I don't know if that's worth saving. But at least I got this out of the water. Uh, if I don't want to keep it, I'll throw it away. So I have 37% left on my battery. So I'll probably will go ahead and cast about, I don't know, probably do about two to three more casts with this and go ahead and call it a day. <clears throat> that never fails. I, I do that at least once I fish. I always forget to open the bow. Go ahead, let it sink a little bit. All right, guys, I'm done for today. I told myself two to three more casts, and already did two. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, catch anything today. I just got like one bite, and I'm pretty sure it was a sunfish. But, anyways. Before I head out, I'm gonna talk about this guy. So yesterday I came down here after work to go fishing and I caught one sunfish. It was a pretty good sized sunfish and uh, then I was wanting to move a different location and I came across this, this lizard looking plastic and decided to uh, text the rig it before I leave and I do have some footage of that and I'll go ahead and roll it right now. Oh, come on.
Yes! 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 That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, Smalley. <laughs> and there he goes. Hey, what did you guys think about that uh, that video? Um, so, the question is, since I did catch a bass yesterday and it was on film, does that count towards my bass challenge? And uh, I think it does. I think it does. So that okay. So that being said, what should my next challenge be? I'm thinking the next challenge should be uh, what one fish I only caught once is a uh, crappie. So I might I might start fishing for crappie. I find those a uh, little challenging. So um, yeah, my next video in the future will be uh, a crappie challenge instead of a bass challenge. I'll still continue to do those bass challenges, uh, but I just want to catch different fish and once uh, I catch a, a crappie and it's all recorded for you guys uh, I might do a sunfish challenge where I give myself like I got to catch 10 sunfish or something like that give me a number and uh, do it from there but I do want to start uh, looking at different locations I want to start learning how to catch and cook and I think the next video will be me just fishing enjoying it instead of doing a challenge and I want to hunt for uh, crawfish. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys like this content, you know, consider subscribing. If not, no worries. It's uh, this is all fun for me. Uh, I love doing this, and I just might as well film it as I'm fishing and learning new things. So peace out.